Steve O'Brien with Entertainment City. Today, an empowering teenager and a criminal mastermind. We'll start with the criminal mastermind as the blacklist returns for season five. <laughs> now that's a nasty look that takes practice. You must have sisters. Get ready for a Red Reddington like you've never seen before. After losing almost everything at the end of last season, the fugitive turned FBI informant is starting over. I make my bed where I lay my head. I would say season five is lighter and more playful than previous seasons. But that doesn't mean there aren't still a lot of issues. This is The Blacklist after all. There are a lot of secrets and there's also a lot of moral gray area. Um, you never make a decision on The Blacklist that is the right decision. You make a decision that has different kinds of repercussions than other decisions, you know? The Blacklist is a kind of liminal comment on the state of information gathering and law enforcement in an age of increasing complication in terms of law enforcement, transparency, and government and citizen collaboration. Catch the season five premiere of The Blacklist tonight, only on City. From a criminal mastermind to Irene. Do you ever wish we lived in a parallel universe where high school didn't exist? Don't Talk to Irene tells the story of a friendless, overweight 15-year-old who's determined not to let her size get in the way of her dream to become a cheerleader. It's a story of acceptance on your own terms. Terry Hart caught up with the film's Canadian director and writer, Pat Mills, and star Michelle McLeod, who makes her big screen debut in the comedy. I feel like there's a lot of movies where there might be a, a character uh, like Irene who doesn't totally fit in and part of the character arc that they change and they become somebody else and I wanted a teen movie where there's a girl who doesn't fit in who doesn't actually change and just continues on her narrow path to becoming whatever she wants to be well you shouldn't have to change for anybody and yes now <laughs> starring as Irene's confidant and all-round god is Gina Davis as herself who speaks to the teen through a poster on her bedroom wall why was Gina Davis perfect. Gina Davis is perfect for a godlike character because she's got that stature. She's really likable and warm. It's like a big hug of a movie, right? Yeah, so. totally. Don't Talk to Irene hits theaters Friday. Also out Friday, Shania Twain's new album. She tells us all about it tomorrow. For Entertainment City, I'm Devo Brown. Oh.